hello guys welcome back to my channel um, today we're going to review this book cartooning the hidden figure by Jack Ham but I want to see if I can because I'm doing it horizontally now so just give me a few minutes and I could try to like fix this a little bit hopefully it'll hold with no problems whatsoever okay so far so good all I gotta do is just move move it just a little higher because I plan to show you both pages this time all right so let's get started um, I just ordered this book and it took like probably I would say like three weeks to get it um, it's a very good book I used to have it a long time ago but I had to order it again because um, the old book I had I lost it so finally I found it used um, very cheap. It was like around seven, eight bucks or something. And you'll be so, like I said, and I keep mentioning that you'll find a lot of great drawing books, step-by-step -step how to draw books, really cheap. I mean, good prices. So this is a, a cartoonist from way, way back. And I remember this was one of my first books I got. I still got to get the old classic Hogarth book. And I want to get me also, um, the Bridgman book, the three books because it's got a lot to offer. The book has got a lot to offer, even though the uh, methods are a little bit complicating, but um, it's all about studying the book and stuff. So here's the uh, contents. And this is really cool. It shows you pretty much um, step-by-step -step how to do a cartoon, funny faces, gives you an idea what to do noses the only thing about this book is it's in small print but if you look at it you know bring it close to your face and study it you'll get to see a lot of details for example if i want to show you everything here i have to like bring up the book a little bit closer so you can see more details these are all noses all types of noses for cartoons so basically, the book is about, you know, cartooning and stuff. Different uh, wacky faces, big noses. Everything that actually comes to mind. Here we have mustaches and beards. Cartoon ears. This is a, this is a very good hint. It, the only thing is you got to bring it closer so you can see more clear. Let me focus this a little bit. There you go. So it's a very good book. This one is the cartoon head shapes for hair and the male, the male head. Different hairstyles for cartoons. This is for women's hair dudes. Cartoon hair for females. Women's cartoon hats men's cartoon hats so it's got a lot of great information if you're into cartooning here's the profile within the front view head this is very um i would say very old school classic 1930s and 40s pretty much what i like i like the old classic old school cartooning and stuff this is what they should be teaching everybody when it comes to cartooning and comics the old classic style the old american classic comic book style of cartooning this is what i definitely love this is sort of like the old comic book style. It's a very good book. I really recommend it, especially if you're into cartooning. It's a very good book. Different types of faces, expressions, 
you can see there's a whole bunch of listings here of different expressions for cartoons. Not so much for comics, but if you want, you can use this when you're doing comics, like real realistic faces for comics. You can actually use these type of faces. You just got to be careful with the proportions. That's all. And remember, when you're doing expressions, always start with the nose first, then the eyebrows, then the mouth. Then you can do the eyes afterwards. Here's um, the muscle expression of a regular cartoon face. It tells you pretty much how the muscles move. See? The muscles, the tendons of the face. Trolling pretty girls. This is a really cool page right here. And I love this, the way they draw the old classic 1930s look hair dudes. Very, very 1930s style. Types of girl cartoon profiles, you see? From 1 to 18, look at that. So many faces here. Now, this is more like a realistic, sort of like an Andrew Loomis. But check this out. Go into the real life for cartoon elements, you see? Just by using, like the other day that I mentioned that you can draw uh, expressions or faces by using doodling. Just making two dots, a nose and a mouth, and that's it. And little by little, you're actually forming the face into something like this. Just by doing stuff like this, you see? It tells you right here, see? You just got to read the book. If you guys ever get the book, read it. Because it's got a lot to offer. This is a, a different way of doing cartooning. A, a, a face of a cartoon lady. Here we have more women faces here. More classic 1930s look. The hairstyle. This is very sweet. Very nice. This is sort of like a diagram of how the face would look like with different lips and different eyes. That's pretty neat. I haven't seen this book in ages. Oh my lord, I finally found this book. And I also got the Anatomy one by Jack Ham, which I'm probably going to share that with you guys, possibly this week. And we're going to do more tutorials soon. It's just I've been pretty busy. Oh my god, if I can tell you what I went through yesterday with the transportation here, Oh, I could have had a heart attack. It's just, it's unbelievable how they run. I mean, like I said in my other videos, they can't even, it's like, I don't even want to get into the issue, but it's its a lot of stuff I went through. So it kind of like tracked me down. So I'll, I'll be doing more tutorials. Um, I was going to do it today, but I, I spent almost like two hours waiting online on the phone, talking to the, uh, to the Miami Dade complaining about the transportation here and if I were to tell you what would that happened you just won't believe it so maybe I don't know it's just I'm, I'm just through of making videos about different topics I just want to focus my channel more on art this is really cool I like this this is very very cartoon like very creative abstract kind of in a way a lot of people like to draw stuff like that. Here we have more like a realistic, except over here. These are cartoons. Check this out. This is really cool. I mean, look at this. This is really cool. This is uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Herbert Hoover, Bob Hope. Uh, you got Jimmy Durant. It looks just like Jimmy Durant. And you got Winston Churchill. Oh, my God. It looks just like him. George Bernard Shaw. Stan Laurel, oh my god, I used to love these guys a long time. Adolf Hitler and Charlie Chaplin. Can you believe that? And then um, you got, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dwight D. Um, Eisenhower, the man. And this is the sort of like the cartoon way of drawing Eisenhower. That looks more like Merlin Monroe, kind of. A little bit, kind of. Doesn't say it, but it's sort of like an image of Merlin Monroe. And here's the different types of, um, how do you call it? Um, let me get my uh, 
my pencil. Hold on a second. I just gotta be careful. I, I don't want to draw my uh, my book, so I have to take out the lead, push it back a little bit further back. Okay. All right, so you can tell. Check this out. Look at look at the profile on this. You can actually change the profile. You just got to be creative when you're doing profiles. Look at that. That is really cool. I haven't. Ha oh, I tell you, I haven't seen this book in ages. And this is another way of doing. Um, this is Waldrow Wilson, the cartoon. How to do a cartoon of Waldrow Wilson? Look at that. Step by step, it shows you. God, I haven't seen this book in ages. I'm glad I have it. Look at that. That's a beautiful classical drawing of a woman from the 19... I would say in like 1950s or 1960s. It has like a 1950s and 1960s look. I love that look. Like that old classic 1950s look. I love that. Okay, now we're here. Building the cartoon figure. Figures on S Simple Oval. Pretty much I've been, you know, telling you guys that... Even in cartoons, you could use uh, ovals. Not only in, in the anatomy, but you can use uh, ovals by creating your cartoons, you see? Everything has to do with ovals. From all the way 1 to 12, look at that. It's got a lot of cool information here. We got a profile, a different style of forming a profile of a man standing. Pretty interesting. Let me get some water, drink some water. By the way, guys, um, I'm sort of like, I, even though I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to take good care of myself because I got some really health issues. So I saw a very interesting documentary about water. If you drink a lot of water after eating, it's really good for you, especially after eating it. Don't drink soda. Don't try to stay away from soda. Try to stay away from sugary drinks because that actually messes up your prostate and your kidneys. And so far, I've been drinking a lot of water with uh, some carrot juice, and I've been doing my own remedies, and I've been getting a little bit better. So I drink a lot of water now instead of soda. I would only drink like ginger ale only when I have like stomach pains because ginger ale is really good for that. But just a little bit. I don't want to go over the edge. All right, going back to the book. Um, you can see there's like different types of uh, movement here of the profile. Here's the guy looping forward and the guy looping backward here. I don't know how you call that, looping, whatever, but you can see the body language. Because there's body language in, in the cartoons when you do cartoons. And here, this is really cool, expanding the stick figure. When you're, just like I keep telling you guys, even on, in cartoons, you can make, uh, you can shade in the clothes or the body of the cartoon. You see the difference? You can shade it in. It says it right here. Anyone can draw a stick figure with a very um, very little uh, practice. Actually, the leg bones of the human skeleton attach to the sides of the hips and in front of the semi-front view as the above. One may use an inverted U at the hips. This That's, that's what they're talking here. Usually, um, I saw, uh, I remember in How to Draw the Marvel Way, they have this technique. It's sort of like a U-shape, an ups upside-down U-shape. And then, of course, you fill, it, fill in the body either with cylinders or scribbling if you want, you know. As long as you form the body and the body takes in shape, that's what really matters, guys. Okay, so let's keep going. Here we have more cartoons. Very classic cartoons, jumping, standing, all kinds of position cartoon of hairpin. You can use a, you can make a cartoon out of a hairpin, a form of a hairpin, you see? These are all different ideas, different ideas you can use. Drawing a funny man, see? Just by using the letter M. Drawing the comic lady using zigzags, you see? This is pretty cool right here. I would guess that this is more like a, a big uh, U-shape 
and then he filled out the body, then he made the uh, skirt. But if you look at it, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, people. All you have to do is look at the shape of the cartoon and you can figure out how to make the shapes. Remember, everything, including the anatomy, cartoons, everything is all made out of shapes. And that's the most important thing that you guys got to try to um, remind yourself that everything has to do with shapes. This is really nice right here. I love that. That's a very, that's sort of like the, I would say 1940s. Not 1950s. This is more like the 1930s and 40s. This type of um, cartoon lady right here. Very sweet. I love this. This is really cool. When it comes to Andrew Loomis and Norman Rockwell and stuff like this, like I said, I'm old, like definitely old school cartooning. And uh, I just don't like some of the new stuff of today. I'm very different when it comes to art. Here's the uh, profile right here. This is a really cool, neat technique, how to do a profile. Of, again, a lot of comic book artists actually do stuff like this. These are different styles of closing from the 1930s. Look at that, that is so cool. That's so nice, very sweet. This is another way of forming a woman cartoon body. There's so many ways, people, how to draw bodies. And I got to share some new stuff that I've been looking on Google. And since I'm very practical drawing practically almost everything, the only thing I do not know how to draw very well is cars. And uh, I could draw some buildings, but it takes time. You know what I mean? But remember, to be a comic book artist, you need to learn how to draw everything including dogs, cats, in case your story has something has to do with dogs or cats. Look at this. This is sort of like a, a heart shape right here for the hip area for the lady. And then another heart shape here for the top of the torso for the cartoon lady. And then you can see here, it's sort of like cylinders. I don't know if you see that. Well, let me bring it more closer to the camera. You see, it's like cylinders. Let me focus this. Oh my God, the focus is really bad. See, it's like cylinders. Here we have a seated cartoon character. I love the big eyes on it, it's really cool. These are different expressions, how they sit. This is really cool, I like this. Oh my God, I can't believe I found this book again. It's like a dream. This is more like alert. Look at the, the position, uh, the, the expression, the way the cartoon actually sits down. You have the alert, you have the normal look, you have the relaxed, you have the sorrowful, like he's sad, defeated, he's just done, that's it. There's no way that he could just do anything anymore. He's just really defeated. So you can see the, la the body language, the way he's sitting. That's really cool. So they're giving you an idea how to do cartoons with different expressions and body expressions. This is really cool right here. I like this. This is a pretty lady sitting down with her legs crossed. This is a different way how to do it. Of course, there's so many ways how to do it. Women sitting down. This is more like the classical 1930s look when women sit down. You don't see nowadays these type of women, especially men, there's a lot, of, especially uh, a lot of European men, they actually sit with their legs crossed. In the old days, they used to sit like that, way, way back. This is another way how to make closing. I think I'm not sure. Wait a minute, it says kneeling and bowing position. Oh, okay, this is something different. Let's see, I thought it was, I, th I thought because I saw the lines here, for the clothes, and I thought that it had to do with clothes, maybe um, probably later on. Oh, this is really neat right here, how to draw women's eyes when they're closed. Basically, when an eye is closed, when they're sleeping, so they're giving you an idea, see? Step by step. Suit an oval, suit a convex lid. Tells you right here pretty much what you gotta do. <laughs> this is a cartoon snoring. That's pretty cool. I like that. 
Here's a wacky cartoon lady, and uh, like a grandmother, I think, snoring. That's <laughs> really cool. And here's the classical way of a woman sleeping. If you look at this, this kind of re reminds you sort of like that Andrew Loomis style, the way he draws, you know, very decent, innocent looking, like, you know. Andrew Loomis draws stuff like this, even in cartoons. He draws very Norman Rockwell cartoon, Jack Hammond, sorry, Jack Ham style. That's a very classical style, like Eva Gardner or Elizabeth Taylor kind of style, the way they pose. I love this. Here's how to draw a bed with a cartoon sleeping on the bed. And when I'm saying car cartoon characters, you know, characters of different characters, they could be skinny, they could be chubby, any type of character. That's what I'm saying about cartoons. That is really cool. The expression on this one is really cool. I like it. And this one is awesome right here. Here we have more. This, so far, um, there's two good, three good books on cartooning that I have, which is this one by Jack Ham. And then I have one that I still got to share that one with you is by uh, Blitz. He's sort of like a cartoonist. And it's a little bit different from this, but he does like very, very um, progressive cartoons sometimes. And then you have Christopher Hart. I did have some books about Christopher Hart of himself. The only books I have by Christopher Hart is like other artists that contributed to the book. But um, I might get a couple of books by Christopher Hart on cartooning because I know he has stuff on cartooning. But I'm going to see if I can find good prices on books. And like I said, you can find these books very cheap. Nobody's buying books anymore. Everything is all internet. I love books. I'm very old school, people. I mean, you know, I like to feel the book. When I'm turning the page, looking at it, at the same time when I'm drawing, I like to feel the paper when I'm drawing. I like to feel the pencil. I like to feel all the details. I, I, I just don't understand. I mean, I can understand that we have to pro do a lot of progress with computers and all that, but the old school was the way, way better. And then, especially when you're doing the inking, and lately I've been doing some pretty cool inking, and I love the feel of the inking, especially the brush pen that I bought. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like this. There's a lot of action here. Here we have the hands, different hands. How to draw different thumbs. All the basics. Look at that. All the basics. How to draw the thumb, the palm of the hand. You can see that these are all hands, but I got to bring it closer to the camera so you can see it. See, these are all hands. Definitely all hands. All types of hands. Look at that. Monster hands, beast hands, evil hands. Super, I, I, I would guess superhero hands like this one. More like the classic superhero hands. So it's giving you an idea how to draw all types of hands. And we got cartoon legs and feet, all types of shoes that you can draw on your cartoons, lady shoes, cartoons. That is so cool. Different clothes, different outfits. You have the suit and the tie and uh, different clothing here. And like I said, you could use ovals, round ovals to make your characters. 
This is very simple. All you have to do is maybe a block shape here. If you look at it, observe it. And then do a U shape going down and then just make the dress. That's it, you know. It's like you're doing hints. You're doing shortcuts of every part, every shape that you see. It's all common sense. Look at this. Look at the guy walking. By a few lines, look from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can do a lot of stuff with all this whole segment here. This is really nice. I, this is really cool. Like whacking cartoons. The wandering pen line. It's just like different techniques you can do with pens. Look at that. Cross hatching, I think. Yeah. Flex point. And remember, when, if you're using a brush pen, you actually press down on the pen and you can make your lines more thicker. That's definitely made by a, a like sort of like a brush. I don't. I, I would say like more like a different type of pen. These are like they're showing you different ways how to do inking, I guess. Here's Uncle Sam. How to draw Uncle Sam in inking. Flow, flow, rock. Oh, yeah, this is something I've I heard this one before, but I can't even pronounce that right. Floral wash cartooning. That is cool. You got a lot of relationship here. The cartoon here smiling and the other guy in the front holding. I guess they were they're moving a furniture or something. This looks like more like the James Bond cartoon like kind of if you look at it really good. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's a lot of details with ink right there. This is also this also has a lot of details. And I need I, like I said, I'm I'm starting, I'm I'm sort of like a beginner, even though a lot of people think I'm really good, but still I need a lot of practice. I like to um, lately I've been doing a lot of inking. And I need to learn how to do good strokes with the ink. These are uh, cartooning little people, in case you want to draw little people. Just by starting by the gesture. You see the gesture, the gesture line here? And you do the cartoon people afterwards. Cartoon design. Unusual effects with design slants. I don't know what they mean by that, but I got to read this again. Like I said, I haven't seen this book or read this book in years. And I finally got it. It took me at least 10 years to get this book, believe it or not. Because I couldn't remember the name. I don't know if you guys remember, I did a, a video and I mentioned the book, but I couldn't remember the name of the book. But then I started looking, you know, you'll be surprised. You can find a lot of stuff on Google. And uh, I described the book and everything, but I couldn't remember the name and voila, I found it. Jack Ham. And all I had to do was Google cartoonist made two classical 1930s cartooning book. And I, there was so many of them. And there's another one that I lost in New York, which I ordered, and that's gonna come soon. That's gonna be awesome too, that book. I lost it in New York and I finally found it. And uh, hopefully um, I'll share that book with you guys also. And that book was like from, I would say 1983, I think. 1983 and they're selling it for like seven, eight bucks. And I ordered it. It should be coming soon. This is very nice. It kind of reminds me of the um, the Rascals. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember the Rascals. 
This is very cute. Little car uh, cute cartoon girl. Very 1930s children cartoon like, you see? Cartooning parents and children. This is really cool. I like this. This is cool. I like this right here. This is so cute. Very cute. This is another form of way in building your stick figure right here by adding just pretty much what I've been showing you guys. Adding form, ovals, or outlines, you see? This is more like outlines, you see? Step by step. Here we have ovals here again. You can see this. This is made out of ovals. Sort of like a baseball player cartoon. This is <laughs> awesome, my God, this is awesome. This is another way how to do the anatomy of a football player right here. I remember when I was a kid, um, I had, uh, he, sort of, he was like a, a long distant cousin from Costa Rica. And we didn't see each other that much, but I remember, man, this guy could draw. And I, I think it was like, he was around seven or eight years old, I think. And he was drawing awesome drawings of football players because he was into football. And he would draw like different positions of football people actually beating themselves up for the football, you know, just like regular football. And I don't know how he did it. He used to come up with some really cool positions too. I even asked him for the secrets, but he was so selfish he never showed me the secrets. <laughs> well, you'll be surprised, there's a lot of artists out there Especially when they're kids, they're very finicky. They won't show you their techniques. These are all sports, sport cartoons. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like the way that, you know, um, I just saw an interesting video by Abdon uh, Romero. He did something like that, which I'm going to share that sooner or later with you guys. <clears throat> How to draw a face by doing the outline of the, the head. But having the real form of the whole head, believe it or not. So I'm going to share that with you. But I just got to keep looking at the video to observe it more. And then once I have it, you know, programmed in my head, I will share it with you guys. Again, you guys should actually go to his channel. He's a very good artist. He shows you everything. So I'm going to go a little faster because I want to see if this um, actually loads up. And then maybe, maybe I still have, yes, I have an hour to do one more tutorial of the things that I've been um, doing some research. So this video is going to be named differently, of course, and then I'll continue again with how to draw heads and figures and faces using different methods. Volume, I think, part 10. I'm not really sure, but anyway. I'm pretty sure you guys already know. This is pretty cool. I love this. This is very, very uh, Will Eisner style. Will Eisner is the cartoonist that made uh, Spirit. Very, very classic. Very 1930s old school stuff. This is really cool. This is the stuff I love. This is really cool. How to draw crowds of people. Look at that. From the foreground, middle ground, and background. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I love this. All right, guys, this book, I really highly recommend it. I got it really cheap, I and mean, you guys could probably find it. It's by Jack Ham, Cartooning the Head and Figure. Very classic stuff, very 1930s, 40s, 50s, and, you know, and probably 60s, too, because um, I think this book was made, let me see, it doesn't tell you the year. 
Let's see, let me read a little bit more. Because I got this, trust me, way, way back. Okay, it says right here. Copyright, 1967. Look at that, guys, 1967. And the book was so popular that it kept going on till 1980s because it was very popular. That's amazing, 1967. And then um, the printing, uh, when, I, when I got this book, I guess it was like, well, I ordered it now, but when I first had the book, it was like around 1983 or 1980, I would say 1986, around there. And that's how popular this book was, especially there's a second book, but that's a brown book. And that's more like the anatomy. All right, guys, thank you for watching my channel. And uh, I will continue with some more tutorials. First, I got to load this one. Happy drawing and good luck and keep practicing.